Hi everyone, I'm Abby Fry. I'm Head of Marketing and Communications at Moodle. And today I have with me Marcus Semlensky. I've just listened to Marcus's very informative presentation on scalability, really, taking 3,000 students to 1 million students um, in a school environment. So Marcus, can you tell us a little bit about the project? Uh, sure. Uh, at the start of the pandemic, uh, we had gotten the mission to really uh, create a system for uh, where there was none. There were no Moodles, uh, there were no e-learning systems at these schools. It was very basic, very frontal mm. uh, learning. And uh, we were supposed to build a system that can host up to 7,000 schools. And therefore we built the system up so that we can uh, scale school by school and each school horizontally. So in the end, uh, we were able to achieve this. We were able to provision over 3,000 of these schools, which host uh, over 1.4 million students. As, oh, as of wow, now. I understand. That's incredible. That is in a huge volume. Heavy responsibility. You must have had some sleepless nights. Oh, yeah, especially when the school year started. Um, then was a big peak, both in usage of the system and in new systems to be created because we created the system so that a principal of a school themselves can require such a system and have it built automatically in about half an hour. Yeah. So what technologies did you employ? Well, we uh, had to heavily focus on automation, but we did not use, uh, let's say, very complicated uh, technologies, actually. We used classical VMs in a uh, data center that we were able to acquire via API calls. So mm. if uh, a principal requests a school, uh, a process starts which requests one of a, a new uh, virtual machine via the API. Mm -hmm. This is then provisioned. Our automation tools then start, uh, we are using Ansible for automation, then starts to provision these new uh, virtual machines with Moodle, with the data, with the database templates and all changes that need to be made to make the school uh, this mach Moodle machine uh, yeah, custom for that school. Mm. So and, do you think yeah. Moodle is well positioned for that? Oh yeah, Moodle is uh, a very robust tool, very customizable uh, via uh, plugins, via uh, even if, if you're very good with Moodle and uh, the technical side of Moodle, you can achieve uh, even more than you can with the plugins just by building stuff your own, uh, yourself or mm. applying templates and everything very, very well. Mm. Do you have a big team? Uh, my team is about uh, seven people, so mm. we do a lot with very little. Yeah. Eladia itself is, of course, a bit bigger. Yes, yeah, so Eladia is one of our premium certified partners in Germany. Um, and would you say that hosting and scalability is something you assist your customers, whether they're schools, universities or organisations? Is that something you regularly assist customers with? Yeah, all the time. Whether they are um, coming to us to have uh, systems built for a, a specific use case, let's say 25,000 users uh, who do regularly do quizzes, mm. or if it is uh, on-premise hosting where we assist and do consulting, uh, it's a very big uh, issue. Yeah, yeah, a big part of the business. Yeah. And I imagine when we have new releases or upgrades, that does that pose challenges for you? How do you provision for that? Yeah, uh, the challenges come often more with the um, plugins. Moodle itself is very, easily to, uh, very easy to upgrade and maintain, I find. But of course, uh, plugins end uh, if we have custom plugins made for that customer, that of course needs to be checked if it works with a new version. Uh, that's a big, um, yeah, it, it takes a bit more time. Yeah. Mm, I can well imagine. And what systems do you have in place for support in the event of a problem? Well, uh, of course, we uh, do monitor all our systems. We do monitor the, um, the Moodle uh, the Moodle logs from Moodle itself uh, mm. for problems because, uh, of course, uh, over the years we found some things that are coming back again and again, especially if the user 
uh, misconfigures the system or something. Other than that, we of course have a ticketing system where if, if they have anything they want for us to do, whether be it uh, install new plugins or ask for, for help or for uh, special customization, they can send us uh, an email and it creates a support ticket with us. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Marcus, for spending some time with me and enjoy the meet. Thank you.